Hello techies. In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to post a message to a chart or channel by using an action called post message in a chart or channel action. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to retrieve the messages from a particular channel by using an action called get messages action. Before that, let me switch to Microsoft Teams. And there, I'm going to click on the menu that is Teams. Now, if you observe, I'm having three teams such as Conteso, Onboarding Employees, Build Team. And again, insert that and I'm having channel for each and every team. For an example, for Conteso team, I'm having three channels such as General, Dev Team Members and Operation Team. Over here, General is the default. Right. And after that, we have created two channels such as dev team members and operation teams. Now, I want to know what are the messages have been posted in the particular channel that is operation team. Let's click on that. There you can see I'm having the post over here. There are two posts over here such as hello world. Welcome to the ops team channel. That is one message. Another message. Hello world. Welcome to the ops team channel. You can share the details in this channel. This is uh, another post which we have posted in the operation team. All right. Now, if you want to post some more messages, in that case, we're going to click on start a post. Now, in this session, we are going to retrieve all these messages by using get messages action as part of Power Automate desktop actions. Let me switch to Power Automate desktop and then I'm going to drag and drop this action that is get messages action onto the workspace. There you can see the main purpose of this action is used to get messages from a specific channel in a specific team. All right. Now, if you see the parameters over here, first parameter is the team. Once you have connected to the Microsoft Teams by using connection references, there you will get all the teams which are available in Microsoft Teams. There you can see I'm having three teams such as build team, Conteso and onboarding employees. Now I'm going to select Conteso as my team and then inside my Conteso, I'm having three channels. Let's drop down that. I'm going to select channel as the second parameter and the operation team as the channel. After selecting the parameters such as team and channel, the output will be stored inside my variable that is get messages from channel response. All right, let me click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. It is trying to retrieve all the messages from the channel that is the operation team, which we have specified as a team as Conteso. The flow has executed successfully. Now if you see in my flow variable, the output has been stored. Let's double click on that. Now add the properties for the get messages from channel response. There you can see I'm having more data count as two and the values you can see over here. Let's click on more. There I'm having the messages. There you can see over here message type is messages. Another one is message type is message over here. This means these are the two messages that we got it. Now there are one more type also is there message type equal to system event that I will show you. Let's click on more. And there you can see over here I'm having the ID reply told it's a blank e tag i'm having message type is very important that is message and then you can see created date last modified date and the chart id is blank and the web url you can see for the team's chart for the particular channel right and you can see over here from that is microsoft graph team work application identity and the user is blank over here all right Another one is the body. You can see the body over here. Let's click on more. There the content type is HTML and the content is hello world. Welcome to ops team channel. You can share the details in this channel. There you can see I got the message which I have posted right in Microsoft Teams. Now let me go back to the variable once again. I'm going to select the second item that is index one. And there you can see the body over here, such as hello world, welcome to ops team channel. All right. The additional properties such as attachments and mentions is blank on behalf of application is blank because of someone is going to be posting it. It's a blank over here. All right. 
let me click on close now i will show you the message type as system now to make you understand i'm going to make the changes over here and i'm going to select the channel as dev team members let me click on save now let's run the flow to see the output once again flow execution started and the flow has executed successfully now let me show you the output over here by clicking on the flow variable there you can see i'm having o data count in the dev team also we are having only two values let's click on more there if you observe the message type is first one is message another one message type is system event message so this message is not generated by anyone this is generated by system that's why we are going to get it as system event message over here let me click on more and there if you go for the body and the content type is html and the content you can see system event message so that it won't show any messages over here all right let me click on close i hope you understand how to retrieve the messages from the channel in a specific team by using the action called get messages action as part of this tutorial